Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome to the final battle with Magus on Let's Play Chrono Trigger! Since last time, I decided to equip the Power Scarf on Chrono here. I'm just gonna go over my setup real quick here. I decided to go with the Ruby Vest on Frog, because I think the fire damage reduction is more important than, say, the Dark Nail's magic defense boosting. And I also equipped him with the Hero's Badge to boost the critical hit rate of the Masamune. And Luca's pretty much the same as before. I like the Taben's Vest for the speed boost and fire damage reduction. Taben's Helm, magic defense reduction is really nice on her. So I think that's pretty much the optimal setup here. So you go to the left, well, save point or teleporter, and we can go on to fight Magus. You could fight these bats here, but nah, I don't think so. Let's just get on with it. I mean, what are we, what's one battle's worth of experience going to help me with this fight? Wow. Got some people helping you out here, Magus. I thought it was just you alone here. Though it does kind of make it a little more creepy. Maybe that was just Magus alone chanting. And... All those other voices with just his voice echoing here. I don't know. Uh, one of my favorite parts of the game. <laughs> At last, Magus himself. Yeah, I would have never had the courage to actually stab someone in the back with a sword. What are you doing anyway, Magus? Well, I suppose Ozzy was kind of saying he was summoning Lavos, but yeah. I don't mind how they change the lines here. If you wish to enter the void... For boss time! Against Magus himself. Or however the line went. But anyway, first things first, we want to use a barrier sphere on Chrono and Frog there, because well, the magic defense isn't nearly as good as Luca. Okay, so let's do that there. I had Luca attack Magus there, so that way Magus would shift his elemental barrier, and I would know what element to use against him. Now, the thing with Magus is that. When he uses, or switches his elemental barrier or whatever, that's what element he's weak to now. So he's going to shift that constantly there. So now he's using light, so he's going to be weak to Chrono's lightning attacks. The thing is, is that every time he shifts his barrier, his magic defense gets reset. So you want to use, have Frog attack first, then use the elemental attack on him because his magic defense is constantly resetting every round there. Now what I did there with Luca was I had her cast protect on herself just because, well, I'm out of barrier spheres. I can't do anything else for her and well, Magus does have a couple attacks that rely on physical defense. So I figured that was a good way to go. Just use Masamune, then another Lightning 2 spell there. Probably want to use a Lapis soon. Or, well, the only Lapis we got. Ow. So yeah, one thing that I uh, did not know the first time I fought Magus was that apparently you got to use the elemental attack on him, like you saw me there uh, using Lightning 2 earlier and such, but I did not know that you could use a physical dual tech against Magus to deal more damage. I always thought you had to use pure magic against him, but apparently not. Yeah, just because you're using a dual tech, which has a physical part to it, or physical component to it, doesn't mean you can't use the dual tech there. Okay, now we want to heal up here. You want to get everyone above 300 HP for, for this part, because now he's charging up for his 
ultimate attack there. So for this part, we want to have Frog uh, just keep on attacking with the Masamune. Not so much to reduce his magic defense anymore, just because uh, he doesn't really have anything better to do. And we'll keep on going with the Fire Sword. If you actually grind it up enough techs for Frog and Luca to learn Water 2 and Fire 2, respectively, you could have learned, uh, it was either Delta Attack or Delta something else. I forget which one is which. There's two varieties of it. And that would be a Shadow Elemental attack. So if Magus sh uh, shifted his magic defense to Shadow, you could use that. Otherwise, well, in this party formation, with the level of techs I got right now, we have no Shadow techs. So what you would do in that case is just attack Magus with something other than the Masamune, and he would shift his magic defense to something, some other element. So that's like why I attacked him in the first round with Luca there, just to force him to change his uh, elemental barrier there. All right, got him. So see, not too hard. Didn't even have to do any grinding for that. All right, we defeated Magus and stopped him from summoning Lavos. Or did we not? Hmm? What do you mean? That's... Oh, so he's been around for a while, huh? Well, we're not ready to fight Lavos. What were you gonna do? Stick him with a sword or a staff or something? And they died. Hmm? Oh, or maybe we just got thrown back to the beginning of the game. New Game Plus? No. No. Oh! What's Marley doing here? Is she my mom now? No. No. Well, I'm a JRPG protagonist. How can I have a job? My job's to save the world. And take care of the kitties, of course. I gotta feed the kitties before going on to the next dungeon. Well, I'll do it after this episode, but you know what I mean. Oh, what did we get thrown back here for? Hmm. I wonder if we were purposefully thrown back here. I never thought about that. Hmm. Well, anyway. Uh, Frog, you, you're too frisky. You don't, you don't need to bring out the sword. Yeah, Frog's not seafood. Sorry. Nuts. Oh, yeah. Maybe Lavos is around here. Will you know about Lavos? You're not going to tell us, are you, Ayla? Well, at least they have multiple beds in this time period. Oh, hey, Kino. How's it going? Oh. Well, that was fast. Nuts. How bad could it possibly be? Well, let's go up there and check it out. See what Ayla's up to. Got nothing better to do. Ah, the purple-haired ones. Nuts. Why didn't they just burn down her village? Maybe because they'd actually stop them. Well, yeah, they're losing. 
kick their ass with lasers. What do you want us to do? Lay down and die? They would have burned your village to the ground anyway. Whoa, that's deep, Ayla. Oh, well, what are the dactyls gonna do for you? What are you gonna do? Just bomb them from the skies? Actually, that would be a pretty good plan. But we don't have bombs. So, oh well. What are they going to do? Throw spears at us? Hey, hey, all right. You take care of Isla or to Isla? Eh, whatever. Well, let's see what's going on around here since the last time. Would be nice to find Magus, but, uh... Well, it doesn't seem to be around. Hmm, Red Star. I am sure it's not important. You guys are just being paranoid. Pay no attention to that, viewers. Oh, well, that wouldn't be paranoia. Oh, yeah, you can't just walk over there, so. I could heal up there if I needed to, but I don't. But anyway, since defeating Magus, we got some new stuff that we can get here at the trading hut. Fortunately, I still have some leftover trading items from going through the reptite lair. If you don't, well, just go back to the hunting grounds and fight some news. Or actually, I'd wait until going through the uh, next little dungeon that we're going to go through. Thanks for the pebble shooters. And the robot arms. I'm gonna give the uh, primeval blade to Chrono there. I like the attack power better than the speed boost. And I'll just sell everything off screen there. But, all right. So, well, let's head on after Ayla. I wanna bring in Marley into my party now. And let's see, I think we're doing pretty good there, but let's get the Dark Mail, the Chrono. Uh, I'm gonna keep going with the Berserker Rings just for a little while. This is a really quick dungeon, but after this part, then I'm going to get rid of the Berserker Ring on Chrono. I promise. And let's see, I think Marley's pretty good. Yeah, make sure she's got the Mist Robe, Speed Belts. Yeah, yeah, that ought to be good. Okay, well, let's head on up to the Dactyl Nest, where Ilo went to, well, get the Dactyls. We could have gone here earlier, but, well, there's not a whole lot we could have done. Could have gotten a little bit of treasure, but uh, nothing that significant, so. Uh, unfortunately, the trading shop, by the way, does not have any new headgear or body armor. So, just the four new weapons, that's all you can do. We got a new enemy here, Scheist. And the other guy, the Cave Ape. Yeah, Cave Ape is pretty much just a stronger version of the one we met up with earlier. Uh, the Scheiths, once you damage them or hit them, they open up and, well, their defense lowers. So, Marley could actually be pretty useful there. She could just, like, tap them on the shoulder and lower their defense so that way the other two guys can actually finish them off. Here's another new enemy, Avian Rex. Uh, these guys are weak to thunder! But not weak enough, unfortunately. Even my Lightning 2 spell can't finish them off. So, yeah, I'm just gonna continue going on with the Berserker Rings against these guys. Next dungeon, not gonna be able to use the Berserker Rings as much. I'm gonna want some direct control, but let me see how we're doing on Pex for Frog and Marley. Ooh. Wow, not bad. Usually I'm not nearly this doing this well on Tex for those two. Hmm, I might need to bring in Robo for the next dungeon. Usually I don't. Usually I can barely finish off Frog and 
Frog and Marley's text uh, by, by the next dungeon. Hmm, I wonder why that is. Hmm. Yeah, just taking care of some monkey business off screen there, viewers. Let's see, is this the one? Yes, okay, the Mesozoic Mail, or Meso Mail in the original. Let's see, we want to give that to Chrono there, and then I want to give the Dark Mail to Robo there, because, well, his magic defense really sucks being well, a robot. So. Just like the EDF soldiers in my last LP. Magic defense, not so good. Okay, I think that's all of them. What's going on here? Hey, hey, Isla! Ava, whatever. What's going on? Yeah, what are you gonna do? Just go by yourself? You don't have the power of thunder. Payback time against Isla? We don't have plural nouns in our language. Or we could just follow her to the trinal there. Why not? Frog will just lure them out. Well, being a frog. Dinosaurs like eating frogs. Maybe. Oh, hey, there's that red star. Hmm. I wonder what's with that thing. Hmm. That yeah, doesn't seem to be threatening us. Who's a good dactyl? Who's a good dactyl? Hi ho, silver! Away! You would think. Oh, yeah, there's that thing again. You would think the uh, reptites would have flying dactyls of their own, being dinosaurs, too, right? I don't know. But do we stand a chance against Isla's forces in their own territory? Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger! This is HC Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.